welcome to the Cookman Food Show, where food meets adventure. Join our hosts, Dan Mantineo and Todd Youngblood, on our journey with food. I step in first hockey. What? Get up! Hi, we don't ski for a couple of hours. We're not skiing today. We're playing Ooh. pond hockey. I don't play hockey. I know. You're cooking. For how many people? Maybe 80. Let's go! We're heading off to one of the last silver boom towns in Colorado. At its peak, there were over 10,000 people in this area. Not these three ladies. Welcome, Welcome to, to Creed! <laughs> the mining influence in this area is pretty evident, especially when you see that the firehouse, the community center, and the local tavern is located in a shaft next to the ice. Creed, Colorado. Play, uh, One of the greatest uh, pond hockey tournaments to take place every year in Colorado. Beautiful setting. We got 80 hockey players down here, and we're cooking breakfast. Why? Because why not? You might as well cook breakfast for these knuckleheads. You know, nobody else is gonna feed these guys. They went out, they drank beer all night long. They're nice and hungover. We're gonna feed them some bacon, some sausage, some eggs, and some good pancakes. So we're just gonna start throwing a bunch of bacon down. We got nine pounds of bacon to cook today, so we gotta get started. Pan's nice and hot. One pound of that is for me, right? A pound of bacon is for you. Of course it is for you. Good. I always think about you and your <laughs> bacon needs, your portions. It's good stuff. All right, I'm going to start cracking some eggs. Excellent. The good thing about cooking uh, eggs out here is my hands are so eggs. numb, I can't feel anything. You just go. I'm really having many plans about the reason why I'm hitting the eggs cook. on a flat surface, you know, a lot of people say, oh, you should crack an egg by driving a knife into it or using the edge. But what that does is that you take the shells and drive it up into the egg. Hitting on a flat surface just reduces the amount of shells that you'll have in your eggs, especially when you're doing a large amount of people. Yeah! <laughs> Duct tape. I'm fixing stuff. I'm f first, I'm fixing the banner, then my hockey bag, and some of my equipment. And, uh, and if you keep talking, Girls, you. Get plates. Oh, that smells really good, Todd. When does bacon smell back? It's. I got one. Got a point. Hey! Hey! Uh, <laughs> Alright, we'll get it started. You get no breakfast! Like a little Bisquick first thing in the morning. I don't know why I'm plugging Bisquick because they're not a sponsor of ours. It should be though, because they're kind of like man food. They can make biscuits and pancakes out of the same stuff. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> we got 80 people here. We got a lot of pancakes to make. We're gonna be feeding for a couple hours. Just gotta keep flipping, flipping, flipping. So we're all done here. Already got hit with one hockey puck. My leg's fine though. I'm gonna fight through the pain. Probably got a fractured tibula. I'm pretty sure I'm injured. Gotta make sure this stove's on high. <laughs> it's like 10 degrees out here. These things aren't barely cooking. We also pancakes. Pancakes, anyone? Pancakes. You want some pancakes? We're doing pancakes. We made them special just for you. The eggs are just about done. <laughs> Even on high, eggs still take 20 minutes. Beer, bacon, pancakes? <laughs> yeah. Beer, bacon? Join us for live Nevada-style gaming, outstanding entertainment, and so much more on the banks of the Colorado River at Don Laughlin's Riverside Resort Hotel and Casino in Laughlin, Nevada. You can fly direct from Albuquerque aboard a Sun Country jet aircraft. To book your affordably priced flight and hotel package, call 800-227-3849 and ask for special offer ABQ-TV or visit us online at riversideresort.com. All right, so the Zamboni comes from the Durango Rink where it was uh, parked and it caught on fire. And they had to rebuild it because it actually caught on fire. So 
They took it to the hot, hot rod shop. They got it going again. They painted the awesome plane. And uh, we used it in Durango for a while. We finally got enough money and got a new Zamboni. So we gave it to the good people over here at Creed. I know, I'm trying to feed all the rats and everything. Uh, right now. Uh, uh, yeah. Everything seems to be running late. That's how it always runs. We're in Creed, Colorado. Pond Hockey Tournament Extraordinaire. And you guys came up with this whole thing. What's this all about? Why'd you do this? Fun. Fun? You bet. Yeah? A little yeah. bit of beer? A little bit little of hockey? A little bit of beer, a little bit of fun. A little bit of breakfast? Strangers. All time hockey, great breakfast. Yeah? Bacon, first annual bacon toss this morning. Exactly. Yeah, you know, you're not gonna get that every day. Exactly. Pancake flipping. How long you been doing this? Four, four years. Four? Four? Yeah. four? This is the four. Five? Four. 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 It feels like five. I mean, it gets better every year. <laughs> Best ice ever. So you own a local tavern in town, Tom and Offers. Yeah. And so beer is a big part of your life. You bet. And we got uh, Ska Brewing down here supplying some beer. And uh, it's it's good stuff. Hockey and beer kind of make a good match, don't they? Uh, yeah, you can't have one without the other. Tell me about the Dead Wings. Where are they from? Dr Dread. Dread? Detroit. They're from Detroit. Li really. Living in Detroit? And, and there's Motor some, City, going to Joe Lowe's Arena, watching the Red Wings, and then they're inspired Woo! by these ponds. Look at these ponds. Hello. Good time hockey. Obviously, if yeah. you're not here now, you've missed it this year. But what about next year? What's going on next year? Oh, we'll do this every year, second weekend in January. Yeah. You can look it up on the internet with the uh, Google Creed Pond Hockey. Pops right up. Yeah. Uh, Creed Colorado Pond about, Hockey. Lots of hits. Great website. Great Check photos. it out. Excellent. Yeah. yeah. Catch all photos of beer action. and people and hot chicks like Carrie. Yeah. Lots of fun. It's really good. YouTube. YouTube. Perfect. <laughs> Cookmanfood.com. So Next year, come check out Creed Pond Hockey. It's an awesome time. Great hockey, great beer, great people. Best pond tournament in the universe. Cheers. Cheers. It's got beer. It's cold. It's great. Put it in your hole. <laughs> Namaste, I'm Chef Karma. Welcome to my restaurant. We serve Tibetan, Nepalese, and Indian cuisine here in Durango, Colorado. Welcome to Drums of Tibet in Durango, Colorado. We have sweaters, scarves, hats, mala, prayer flags, bags, jewelry. We also have incense, singing bowls, Tibetan artifacts, and, and much, much, much more. Come, Come visit, visit us at Dreams of, of Tibet. Tibet.
too many hotties on the ice. You gotta let the hotties yeah. score every once in a while, you know? <laughs> I'm not complaining. I don't get the opportunity to say there's extra hotties very often. We got a letter from our friend Trish, and she asked, do you guys make anything fancy? So we thought we'd show our fancy side. So we're gonna make Le Crepes. Le Crepe is how the French would get invaded by Germany over breakfast. We're gonna start out by making a real thin crepe, and then we're gonna stuff it with sausage, cheese, and a few other goodies that we can find around here. Sounds fantastic, let's get started. The word crepe sounds fancy, but it's really not. In the bowl here, I got a cup of milk and a cup of water. I'm gonna add four eggs and I'm gonna add two cups of flour and some salt. The exact measurements of the recipe and all what's in here is actually on our website, cookmanfood.com. The ideal place to do this is actually in a blender. I've been whipping this up now for about two minutes and the consistency is really thin, so very different than a pancake batter that we may be used to. Here are your broth, sir. Thank you. So we saved some bacon grease from this morning and that is what we're gonna fry up our broths in. No sense to just let them go in the grill when we got all this bacon fat. You want to open that for me? No problem. So I'm just going to open right along the edge here until we're all set and ready to go. Perfect. Crepes, you got to stuff them full of something. So we got uh, sauerkraut to go along with our bratwurst, just to give it a nice extra savory flavor. We're not so into the sweet stuff, we more like the savory. It's and also sour practically a vegetable. Yeah, we gotta have some vegetables in our shots too. These brats are just super happy bathing in this bacon fat right now. We're just gonna give them a flip, because they've been in there about two minutes. Yeah. Now that the sausages are almost done, it's time to start cooking our crepes. We're gonna start by putting a good lather of butter on the pan or griddle, whatever you're using. <clears throat> then you're gonna take some of the crepe batter and just pour it on there. Crepes aren't like pancakes. You don't want them nice and thick. You really want a nice thin layer of, 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 of batter on the griddle. And you're gonna know it's done when you see all these holes in the top of the crepe. And when pockets. you get a lot of a lot of pockets of air, and when they're all done, you're gonna see a lot of pockets and it's time to flip. Another way to know that it's done is when you're able to slide the spatula right under and it goes through clean. Now that it's flipped, we got another 30 seconds to a minute, and we're ready to build this. The crepe is done, it's time to build la crepe. Crepe on the plan. We got the uh, cheese on top. We got the bratwurst coming on the middle. We got a little sauerkraut to go along on top. Yep. We're gonna roll this up, just like that. And here you have it, Le Crepe. Excellent. Awesome. <laughs> Somewhere there's a Frenchman rolling in his grave. Stopping off here in Southport, Colorado to stay at the Allington Inn and Suites. Jill's getting us all checked into our rooms. We like staying here at the Suites because they got a full continental breakfast. There's lots of stuff to have on the buffet, but one of the special things is the waffles. You can make any kind of waffle you want, even add some bacon. The Jacuzzi Room is a great place to sit back, relax, and enjoy your stay. The Inn is welcoming to both families and groups. You can plan your meeting or a party in our conference room. You could also just enjoy the hot tub and the pool. It's a great place for everybody. The Allington Inn and Suites, located in South Fork, Colorado. As we're driving up Wolf Creek, we're reminded of the men who actually made these roads through these treacherous mountains. One of those men was Otto Mears. He was one of the original pathfinders in the San Juan Mountains. Wolf Creek Pass is one of the many roads he carved to this treacherous terrain. Otto Mears left behind many things in the San Juan Mountains, including railroads, regular roads, and the land where Wolf Creek Ski Area still sits, 
and it just so happens that his descendants still run the ski area to this day. Hey man, ready to go? Where you been? I had to get my morning coffee. Want a little something in that? Yeah. What you got? Ah, we got some spice rum, vodka, and regular rum. Spice rum, Jamaican coffee. Excellent. Cool. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. You're like a walk-in liquor cabinet with those pocket shots. I know, they're great. Martina McBride is a leading lady of country music. With over 18 million albums sold, she makes her way to Laughlin for the first time on April 8th. See Martina McBride at the Riverside Resort's spacious outdoor amphitheater. Get your tickets now for Martina McBride at Don Laughlin's Riverside Resort. Call 1-800-227-3849 or go to riversideresort.com. What an amazing day we got up here. It's incredible how they always just have such soft snow. <laughs> Remember that time we were up here two weeks into November and they had like an 80 inch base already? Right on top of the Conlon yeah. Divide, they just get pounded from every direction. It's here. It's there. Pepperoni! Yeah. See ya. What a jerk. How about the food up here? Did you know that a lot of the recipes came from old family recipes? I heard their green chili stew is amazing. They get their green chilies from northern New Mexico, one of the best green chili growing places in the world. Yeah, I think that'll hit the spot after being in the cold all morning. A little something to warm you up. I hear it's got a little bit of a kick to it sometimes. The standard race to the bottom? Absolutely. Winner gonna, buys lunch? You're buying me burgers today, it'll be great. He loses it buys lunch. <laughs> uh, we'll see, man, we'll see. Cooking here at Wolf Creek, cooking the all natural Harris beef, comes out of Modesto, California. We average on a busy day, we're doing about 700 burgers on our busiest days, and other days we're doing about 150 to 300 burgers out here on a, on a regular basis. We're here with Roseanne Pincher. She is the owner of Wolf Creek Ski Area, and we're talking about food. Food is a big part of your culture here at Wolf Creek, and we got your burgers here. Tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, we sell a lot of burgers. Everybody seems to be really hungry when they're here. And this was the Ono Burger, right? This is the Ono Burger, and the Ono Burger is a favorite uh, with pineapple, bacon, tomato, and um, we've got the cheese on it as well. Got anything with the Southwest flair? We sure do. We have our chili cheeseburger. Get that is. whole piece of green chili on there. It is. You can you just get the chili and you just put the whole thing right on it and it makes it taste great. I love that you don't just have a couple dices of chili. You just grilled up a whole chili and threw it on top. That's beautiful. Yeah, that's the way it tastes best. Which is your favorite burger? I'm going to go for the chili cheeseburger. Great. There you go. All right. I think I'm going to try this Ono burger. That pineapple looks fantastic. Okay. This looks really good. Thank you very much. Mm. Hi, man. You ready to get your butt kicked? You gonna kick my butt with your boot on buckle? What? Shoot, jerk!
lunch is going to taste even better knowing that you paid for it. <laughs> you got lucky. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> There's no way you're going to do that again. Of course I will. No way. Hi. Here's oh. some of the Wolf Creek famous green chili stew. So we've oh. got bacon bits. This looks amazing. It does. Thank you very, Thank much. You very much. Oh, you are welcome. We Thanks appreciate for hosting coming. us. Look at this green chili. It's fully loaded. Bacons, tomatoes, red onions. This is awesome. Big chunks of green chili, just Jalapenos like it should be. Awesome. Thanks, man. You're welcome. That's how you spend Sunday. Perfect snow, an amazing lunch. It was a good day. Skiing this afternoon, I'm craving fried chicken now. So after this break, we're gonna show you how to make whole buffalo fried chickens. It's gonna be great. This experience has been unbelievable. Uh, it's hard to describe in, in words. You start out at a little two and three class rapid and then you're having a ball and then next thing you know they just get bigger and then the next day they get bigger and wow. Wild. <laughs> what a great spot. Everywhere you go in the wilderness they have a perfect outdoor kitchen right here for you. I'm ready for some buffalo chicken. So go get the chickens. We got our trusty old turkey fryer here. It's seen a lot of action, and it's about to see a little more. You gotta be really careful with the water on the birds when you throw them in there. That's what makes the oil explode, catch onto the flames. You could burn down half the forest. That wouldn't be so good. You ready for some fried chicken? We'll play with the food. You ready for a bird? Bird! Bird! Red bird! Oh, oh yeah! It could take hours to fill us up out here by cooking batch after batch of wings or even those little winglets. The answer? Whole buffalo chickens. But we're not just gonna coat them with sauce, we're gonna inject them with sauce. Today we're using red bird chicken. Never frozen, packaged right here in Colorado. Also right here in Colorado we got Captain Spongefoot. All natural, original wing sauce. When you're injecting, you want to get all the meaty parts. The breasts, the legs, the thighs, and just a little squirt everywhere you're going. So you just want to squirt, squirt. Gotta love this sauce. First two ingredients are cayenne and sriracha pepper. Dip her in there nice and slow. Keep your fingers back so you don't get all burned up. Beautiful! Yeah, that's gonna be some good chicken, boy. Here's an appetizer you can make at home. It's our version of stuffed jalapenos. We're going to wrap them in bacon, stuff them with cheese. We can't forget the meat. So we're going to add a nice chunk of summer sausage. Here's what you're going to need. Some big fatty jalapenos, your bacon, your Monterey Jack cheese, and your summer sausage. But wait, there's something we're forgetting. I'm going to show you how to make an old fashioned with pocket shots. They're premium spirits packaged in a rip top palm sized plastic pouch. I think I'm going to have a double. Grab a highball glass. Slice up your orange. Add your half a slice of orange, two maraschino cherries, your sugar, muddle, pour in your whiskey, add your ice, a little splash of bitters, and stir. That's an old fashioned. Now let's get cooking. So I've already cut the summer sausage into strips along with the cheese, and I've also partially cooked the bacon, but not all the way. I still want it floppy so I can wrap it around the jalapenos. Remember, we're handling peppers, so don't touch your eyes. Now cut the top off, take your coring tool, just get all of it out of there. You don't have to get all of it out, all the seeds and, everything, and the stems give it all your heat. Now let's stuff these suckers. Just going to take your cheese and your summer sausage. Stuff them right inside. 
each of the, these guys. And don't worry if it's hanging out a little bit, because we're just going to cut them off. Just a length, and we're ready to go. Throw the bacon down, put the jalapeno on there. Just wrap it up. This is the easy part. Just take a teeth toothpick, slide it all the way through, get both sides of the bacon, put it in the pan. Got your last one, wrap it up, put your toothpick through, get it through the other side of the bacon, put it in the pan. We got it set to 350 degrees. Pop these in. They're gonna cook for about 15 minutes or until the cheese is cushioned out the end. These things are gonna be awesome. Check out cookmanfood.com for this recipe and enjoy the rest of the show. Mm. Mm. It's really good. You think this thing's about done? We got a five pound bird, three minutes a pound, 15 minutes. Let's look at it. Oh yeah, looks beautiful. Just carefully take it out here. You always want to turn off your gas before you take anything out of the fryer, so it's not to start a fire. Next step is to let this thing cool. Oh yeah. Then we're gonna put it in the bag with the wing sauce to coat it. You ready to do this? Let's shake this bird. Oh yeah, get that in the bag. There we go. We got the buffalo sauce. Pour the there whole we... bottle in there. Zip it up, and we're ready to start coating. Shake it up, baby. It's gotta shake, shake, it, shake it. it. Get a good coat on the bird. You wanna get that sauce every crack. Every, every crack coat. on the inside. You can see the pepper seeds on the outside of the bag. It looks beautiful. And now, get this back out here so we can carve it up. What's great about this board is it's got these nice little spikes to hold it in place. Watch your fingers. Thank you. Look at that juicy bird. That. You see that spice on the inside of it? That's where the injection was. It's a good piece right there, brother. <laughs> oh yeah. Perfect. Oh my lord. That's Some so for good. myself. Tender, juicy, just like deep fried chicken always is. Mm -hmm. You get such a juicy bird this way. And the flavor on the outside and the inside, it's a beautiful thing. Never go wrong deep frying chickens. Another amazing weekend. Skiing, deep fried chickens, green chili. Got to play some great pond hockey with some friends and drink a lot of beer. I got to cook breakfast for 80 people. That was fun. Well, I got to skate. Yeah, thanks a lot for that, buddy. Well. Cheers. Time to head back to Durango. Yeah, man. Cheers. Soft. Outstanding. We'll see you next time. Well, yeah, what he said. When I ride into the mountains, I get him off my horse. Stepping horse hockey, horse hockey on my boots.